Howdy fellas, me Trapper here. Now I'm on a hog job out of state and I thought I'd take a break and show you a little bit about the snares that I'm using on this job for the hogs. Now as most of you know, uh, I'm pretty particular about my snares and most of the time I make my own snares. But based on some experiences that I've had on other uh, hog trapping jobs, I decided to go with snares made by southernsnares.com and these are some very heavy duty hog snares and I'd like to show you a little bit about these snares right quick. The first thing about these snares is that they are very heavy duty. This is 1 8 inch aircraft cable. Now in, past, in the past I've used 3 32 inch cable but we've had hogs bust the 3 32 inch cable so I've stepped up to 8 inch cable and this is super heavy duty stuff. The next thing you'll notice is that this is a cam lock. Now when I'm snaring beaver, I like a little bitty slim lock. It's a fast lock, it's hard to see and all of that. But with a hog, this cam lock is a very aggressive lock and it's a very strong lock. So this right here is important. Now the next thing I want you to notice is I want you to look at how round of a loop this snare is holding. All right, now seven by seven cable is normally very teardroppy in shape, okay? If you just buy one off the shelf from a big box trap supply, you're gonna get a, a snare that's gonna have a teardrop shaped loop. To me, that's unacceptable. I want my snare to hold a more round, natural loop shape like this. And you can see, this is because Brian has loaded this snare properly. Now, when you get to heavy duty, thick cable, you've gotta know what you're doing to load a snare to hold a loop this good, okay? It takes a lot of force and you can screw it up real quick, but you're not going to find a more perfectly loaded snare than this one right here. The next thing is notice that just behind the loop, we have our swivel. Now this is a number 12 barrel swivel. Uh, it has over a thousand pound braking strength. The idea behind putting a midline swivel is, is the closer we can get the swivel, to the animal's back, the more effective the swiveling action is going to be. And the more effective the swiveling action, the less chance he has to kink the cable and break it. Next, notice the professional swaging job on, on these ferrules. Okay, when I make snares at home for beaver, beaver don't fight that hard, uh, coon don't fight that hard, so I just hammer my ferrules on. But Southern Snares uses professional quality machinery not just a bench mounted swager, but a professional swaging machine to get this type of a finish. And that makes a difference in holding power. All it takes is uh, having a few ends pop off of your snares and your catch get away and you'll figure that out. Finally, on the end of the extension cable, we've got a traditional uh, heavy duty snare swivel. So if you're in the market for some heavy duty snares, you need to look up southernsnares.com. Um, also, if you're just getting into snaring and you're not sure what you need, uh, you can call Brian. He loves to talk trapping. He'll set you straight. Uh, you can just call him up and say, I'm in such and such a state. These are our laws. Uh, I want to snare fox or I want to snare beaver. What do you recommend? And uh, he'll get you fixed right up. One of the advantages of buying a professionally made snare is when you do that, you will see what a quality snare is. And then if you decide to go make your own snares, you'll have something decent to work from, to copy. You'll know what you're trying to do instead of the other way around. So anyway, uh, my break is over. It's a beautiful day and I gotta get some, uh, some more snares hung and try and get some hogs off of this property.